time for the coin toss now. Presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. He's taken down at the 24. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Second and 14. Ball on the 20. Steps up in the pocket. Rifles this one out to the left. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Going deep. Can't haul it in. Boy, the defender was just sitting back there waiting to make that big hit. He realized he couldn't get there for the interception, so he did the next best thing. He timed up his hit by the time the quarterback threw the football. As soon as the receiver touched the football, he made that big hit to be able to get the football away from the receiver. He's at midfield. Brought down at the 45-yard line. Williams's mental toughness makes him difficult to rattle when he's on the road. And here he is now, Kirk, taking the field for the first time today. Let's see how he does. And not only does this guy not get rattled, but he's also a guy that seems to have an uncanny ability to quiet a crowd by making such big plays. Gives it left side. Nice run there. Williams picks up five with the carry. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Brought down around the 27-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. That'll bring up second and three. Room to run, and he's level at the 14. And that'll be a first down on the six yard pass. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. He'll get it again. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the eight-yard line. Tackle at the seven-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. This isn't much more than an extra point. This will make it a field goal game. 
The kick is up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the three. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. One team forced to punt, Herbie, and the other one comes right back and gets some points. Boy, Brad, this is exactly how you draw it up. You come up with a big stop to start the game off. Your offense moves down, gets, his, gets points on the board. You can't start much better than this. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Complete. I know this quarterback arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. He's taken down at the 49. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. throw to the tight end. He's at the 40. He's tackled at the 35. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. It's second and nine. Ball on the 35. Again, maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Good speed off the edge by the sophomore to come up and make the hit. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. And he's tackled at the 21. Here's the eighth play of the series. They'll work the left side. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 11-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 11-yard line. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made at the nine. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. Three, nothing. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. run there as they work the outside it's the 11th play of the drive they'll wrestle him down in the backfield good solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation this should be an easy field goal If he hits this, we're all tied up. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Woods has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26. Yeah. 
They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Makes it out to about the 36. From their own 36-yard line. First down. Down he goes, around the 47-yard line. First down. Watch a slap, watch a slap, watch a slap. Mike 40, Mike 40, jump, jump, set, lighting! There he goes! Makes it to the 41. Game 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. Run up the middle. Five yards. That brings, that brings him second and five. five. Two times, two times. And they make the stop at the 25 yard line. That's a D11 on the play. First, First and ten. Down. Ball on the 25. Caught open field, and he hits him hard at the nine-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. back with a carry. They bring him down in the backfield. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, it can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. This is the ninth play of this drive. And he's got the touchdown. such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 76-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now, 10-3. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Tackle at the 18. This one might be coming back, Whistle folks. Foul. Let's check Clip out the penalty. Receiving, Receiving team. team. That one's going to put them way Still back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They get him in the backfield for a loss. The halfback took the pitch but couldn't find any running lanes. And there were no running lanes because this defense had so much penetration into the backfield. He would have been lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. From their own six-yard line, it's second down. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. Not much on that try. They'll face a fourth and long. No one on the defensive side of the ball was fooled that time, Brad. Woods is the punter. Williams 
Simmons has had his problems here in the first half individually, but you got to think he's got a great smile on his face knowing that the other guys around him have picked this game up and gotten in the lead here before halftime. I always like to see the, the attitude and the body language of a superstar player when he's not necessarily having his best game and the team is winning. What's his reaction? Is he down in the dumps? Is he still there for, for moral support? Is he still trying to do the small things to help his team win? And so far, we've seen that from him today. And uh, I think, I'm sure his coaches and I'm sure his teammates really appreciate that. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 36-yard line. Drop down right around the 20. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 20. Tackle after a decent pickup. He decides to keep it and picks up seven yards. The offense calls a timeout. First and goal. He scrambled. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. From the five yard line. They're set to go for another round. it fly and he is drilled at the 46 so on first down they go to the air and pick up huge yardage well that was just a well executed play they picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play and it worked gets it he's in space and they push him out at the 38 nice pickup as they connect on the pass play well, they look to be in sync right now they're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game Flips it middle to the running back. He's brought down in the open field. So they'll get the first down there on a two-yard completion. Well, they got to him in a hurry, but it was just a little bit too late. That's a nice first down pass. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. Waits. He heaves it to the end zone. And it's complete for the touchdown. Tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one on one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. Across the 30. He got hit hard. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle at the 41. Scrambling around. 
They'll bring him down around the 44-yard line. He tucks it in and gets the first. He was just looking for enough to move the chains. First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. And they got him. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 17-10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Fielded at the four. Oh, what a hit. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. run and he's brought down so he calls his own number and gets about six yards they need about three yards to get the first here on second down and he's taken down right around the 46 yard line that makes it first and ten They lose seven yards on that play. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Second down and 17. Ball on their own 39. Sloppy here with their ball handling. It's a good thing they were near the sideline. Otherwise, the defense could have pounced on that football. Koch, back deep to return. And down he goes at the 25. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And it's caught. He's pushed out of bounds at the 35. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Has 
some daylight. They go to the left for a nice game. From their own 47 yard line, it's second down. And he's level at the 44 yard line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That makes it 37. Throws it in a hurry. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. And they're coming after this punter. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Tackle made around the 34-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Three, three, three. Caught out of the open. He steps out at the 36 yard line. From their own 36 yard line. First down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a game of five on the way. That brings him second and five. Outside for a nice game. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He's tackled at the 47 yard line. That's a deal. That makes it first and ten. They get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From the 49-yard line, second down. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 17-10. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Yeah, 
Quick throw out to the receiver. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. And you can stay on the field in these kind of situations. You're doing something right. It's first and ten. Ball in 34. He fights forward to about the 33. This is the 11th play of this drive. the middle good for a gain of six yards that makes it 33 so again a third down as the offense lines up past the marker. Yeah, it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football. This is the 13th play of this drive. Makes it out to about the 10. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. From the 10-yard line, it's first down. This is the 15th play of the current drive. Less than three minutes in the game. after losing a couple on that run. And this is the 16th play of the drive. Room around the corner. Touchdown. Well, they know exactly what they have to do now. Score, get the ball back, and score again. Not a lot of time, but if they play efficiently and get a few breaks, it's definitely possible. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Taken at the five. Tackle at the 22-yard line. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Fires quickly to the tight end. And he's tackled at the 29. Slings it out there incomplete. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just under two minutes in the game. And they make the stop at the 43. I like the call here, looking for the big fella here on third down. They have a lot of faith in him as a receiver. Right there, he showed you why. He sails it long. And he's tackled right away. Check, check. Dance, dance. 
Nice catch, first down, he's knocked out. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. He's going to try and scramble. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. Big, big touchdown through the air, and now it's a one-score game. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice seven-play, 78-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Brought down at the 39. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Nice run there as they work the outside. Williams picks up about seven yards on the run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. The defense scoops it. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow him down. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Delayed handoff, and he's not going to get back to the line. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all then. The spike will stop the clock. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the 44. Is one for the end zone. He caught it for the touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he hits the PAT late in the fourth quarter. And with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the nine. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 46. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 40, and he tackles him hard at the 38. The offense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. We've got a first and 10. 
Ball on the 38-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's at the 30. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle around the 24-yard line. Now the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he is drilled at the 10. The offense calls a timeout. This is it, guys. He makes this one and the game's over. If not, we're going to overtime. The kick is away. He got it. They win. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. They line up to kick this one away. From the seven. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. We had a fight to the finish here today. 27-24. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.